Well, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. I don't know why I cannot keep track of the days, but either way, I am excited to be here. I just wanted to jump on and for today's crafting event, I was just gonna do a product spotlight. So for those of you that may have picked up the party accessories, so let me go ahead and pull that out of my stash here. This was a limited release um, a while back. So the party accessory we first released in 2018 as far as a Kiwi Club set goes. And then we took it out of the vault and re-released it here last year for Kiwi Lane's birthday, which we celebrate in the month of August. And it's such a really fun set. Can you guys see that? It's kind of hard to see on the blue, huh? Um, so it's a really fun set. And the reason why I'm spotlighting it is if you have it, I wanna encourage you to pull it out and to create, a long, create with it. Um, but if you don't, uh, the shipping team actually found 50 of these still left and they're in the shop. Um, so this was a limited release and we still have a few left. And so of course, when they're sold out, they're not on reorder, they'll go back into the vault. Um, but so I wanted to show you guys, just in case if you're new, you can grab it. Again, there is only a limited release, but a lot of you guys probably have it because like I mentioned, um, we have released it uh, previously in the 2018 Kiwi Club kit. But um, yeah, so here is the party accessory. It's a really fun set. I often use it with Tiny Celebrate, which is another great set for just birthdays, um, any kind of moment that you're really celebrating. It could be a lot of fun. Even these would be really cute if you made them very elegant. Could be really fun on maybe more of a wedding. I could see this being cute with like a cute, maybe just a top cake or something um, on a wedding or just different things like that. Because again, the moment you change the paper, the look of it changes as well. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna play to create a little bit with this. And again, in hopes that if you do have this set that you're inspired to pull it out, maybe to create a little bit using it um, from some of the designs that we'll play to create together. Or if you don't have it yet, check it out. It's in the shop under the accessories. There is a very limited, like when I say limited, like 50 in stock, like I mentioned, they a lot of spring cleaning happening in the warehouse right now. So make sure to grab it while you can because um, it will go back into the vault here on that one. All right, so let me see on the background sheets here. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out new background sheets so we can actually see what we're doing. It's kind of hard to see on that mint green. I'll just pull out some from this month's Kiwi Club kit. How many of you guys have gotten this month's Kiwi Club kit? Hopefully by now, where are we at? Well, they got them out really fast. They got them out all by April 1st. They were on top of it. Um, so some of you might have not gotten this kit yet. Now that I think about it, we're not too deep into April yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull out since it's right here on my table, I'm going to pull out two background sheets that are a little bit darker for the purpose to allow us to create together on top of these. All right, if there is a set that you want us to play to create with, uh, feel free to, but like I mentioned, I'm gonna spotlight this party accessory set. And so to start off with, every time I'm building a layout, a two-page spread for scrapbookers that may be new to the play to create for scrapbooking Kiwi Lane style, um, we have these borders. And I personally like the look of the borders and because they kind of give your page a nice foundational element. Um, something to allow the pattern paper to be utilized um, to its full potential. And so you'll see that, of course, in a lot of our samples. But I just start with the border, and that's all I'm going to do really quickly. It's nice when you can itemize, like, um, what sets you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to use Claire Lane, a border set, and I'm going to use the party accessory set, right? Trying to think what to do here. I could do a double layer. So I'm just grabbing another border and I'm gonna do them layer together. You saw me doing a back to back. That's also really fun too. And then I'm just gonna use the party accessory. 
And you'll see that it's very simple how you can layer those together. I'm just gonna keep it pretty basic here, you guys. This is what's so fun about this party accessory. Look how cute. You put the cupcake on top of the cake stand. That's really cute. Already I'm thinking, okay, well, let me see. I want that to kind of be a little bit more grounded. So maybe what we'll do is turn this one like so. And maybe have it kind of standing on the, the ground of your page. I love that cupcake stand. It's so cute. I love it. And then if you wanted a bow or an accent, you could add that. I don't think you necessarily have to every time, of course. And then maybe over here, we decide to go ahead and pull in a couple more. So let's say we want the hat over here. And I would do, you know, depending on how many, if you were doing a special birthday for someone, well, <laughs> I was gonna say you could do that many candles. Unless like, like my husband just had a birthday this weekend and it was his 40, 41st um, birthday. That would be a lot of candles across the page. Who knows, maybe I'll be ambitious and I'll do like, a border of candles or something, I don't know. But if it was like a toddler, one, two, three, it could be cute to have like three candles over here and maybe you do a little sticker that has the number three on it or something, that could be really fun. Um, yeah. Do any of you guys have April birthdays out there? I'm wondering if any of you guys have April birthdays, just out of curiosity. Oh, sorry, I'm missing some conversation here. What's going on? They forgot to put the golden rabbit in it. Oh, in your kit. <laughs> they forgot to put it in yours. Yes, that's funny. I'm so excited to hear who gets this golden rabbit. So hopefully everyone starts receiving their kits very soon because I'm excited to know who got it as well. So I just want to kind of clear up here. So again, keeping it really simple, and I think that's key sometimes. Um, you guys know me. I tend to try to just show you all the endless possibilities because there are so many endless possibilities. But I think it's good every once in a while to go back to some of those beginner steps, which is basically what I'm doing right now, where it's like, okay, a border set, an accessory set, and a photo set. Those are what I recommend to get started. Um, of course, like, depending on the accessory, you can choose different ones from the shop. In this case, I'm just spotlighting this party one so that those that might want to get it last chance can. I'm looking for some more photos in my stash. Oh, there they are. Something else, maybe like a 5 by 4 or whatever you're working on there. So this is a very basic layout here. And again, it, it's like recommending to get started a for, for, uh, photo set a border set of your choosing an accessory set of your choosing and that is a really good initial beginner set here okay so i'm gonna rewind and we're gonna erase our board basically and we're gonna start again and i'm just gonna see what other things i can create with clara lane and the party accessory set I missed how many of you guys have the party accessory set or got it while the last time we released it. Just curious. I would love to see samples. If you guys get a moment, share with me some samples again in the community. Um, I still have the part of the paper that we released, but that's all sold out in the shop um, that I want to use. So I would, could have loved to see what you guys created with that as well. So here's this other one the Clara Lane 3 or 1A, 1B. Again, this is all from one border set. This is all Clara Lane. And, um, and the way that you know that they go together is because they're labeled here. So 2A, 2B, right? So I used this border last time and I layered it with the 3A, 3B. So I figured for this next layout design, I would use the 1A, 1B, and let's see where we can take that. So again, you could do top, bottom. I did the bottom last time and I did the side last time, right? So I did a design where it was like this. So probably for this time, I'm thinking maybe I could do right, left, which is always a fun design. Um, top, 
bottom is always a really fun design. Again, just kind of really going back to those general things where if you're just getting started and you're kind of working up to layering and learning how to utilize your paper stash and all of that stuff, um, hopefully these tips are really helpful. And hopefully they're helpful if you have the party accessory set. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw some of these party accessory sets. Um, and I also really love this. Look at this little tag in party one. This could be really fun if you wanted to do like a little um, customized banner across the top. Um, I like it because sometimes with the other, well, we have like a banner that came in the Kiwi Club kit, but it's specific, right? Like this one, you could add as many tags as you want across the top, right? So if you're like, I need 10 for a word, celebrate, or I don't know, something like that, then you could do that. Or if you just wanted like party, that could be really cute as well. I think these are a lot of fun too. If you just have, oh well, I probably would layer it with other ones like tags or something. But as I mentioned, I'm gonna stay away from adding too many layers this time because I can get carried away with the variations of options. Um, so I won't, <laughs> I won't do it. It is very tempting to just utilize everything um, and just play to create fully. But um, I was thinking like the other small tag, it's like a different size, could be really cute. And that's where the tiny accessories came in. So if you did want to throw in, say a tiny, that's the next level to kind of warm up to layering. So you would start with a border, an accessory, um, photos. I personally love photos. I feel they really do trim off time um, in the process. So for me, the photo sets, which are those little squares that I was using, they help me to just get out of my own head, to just be able to play and to create and to visualize it before I have any worry or concern or trying to get it all straight in my head before I cut into my paper. So I recommend the photo sets. 100% recommend the photo sets. Um, they really do over time, you get your money's back. You're just in the time you save, you get your money's back worth, I promise. Um, and then that fourth product item would be to maybe choose an accessory of your choosing, a tiny accessory of your choosing. And so I'm trying to find just where a tiny accessory could be really fun with this one. That way it might be where here, actually. I, I told you guys I love to use Tiny Celebrate in the mix too, right? Tiny Celebrate is another fun party set. It comes with, here, let me pull them all out. So this is Tiny Celebrate. It has a triangle, which is a lot of fun, a ticket, a paisley, a pinwheel, uh, a cloud cone. <laughs> Uh, two balloon sizes and a banner. And the reason why I was not really putting these in a box is because yes, this can be a fun little, like again, triangle effect, or you can layer it with the cloud, AKA corn, um, ice cream top scoop. You could do three scoops on a, on a page if you wanted to. Of course, the balloons are a super fun addition. So this is what I'm sharing with you is that with the accessory and then throwing in the mix, as you add to your collection a tiny accessory, your options increase by still utilizing the current sets that you have. And so let me just start playing with not only the accessory, but also the tiny celebrate to show you the variations of layers that we could accommodate here. So naturally, I think the balloons are really cute. <laughs> I think they're adorable. And especially if you put some ribbon or something kind of hanging down off of those, maybe we'll put a, oh, let's just throw some photos in here. And this is what I mean by how helpful these photo sets are. They really do help you get that visualization. And like I said, get out of your head um, because, I don't know, things can get messy in our head, <laughs> right? Like they can get really concluded and confusing. I just was thinking, what if we did lots of pictures over here? Cause I always have so many pictures when I take pictures of birthday events. 
Like I feel like that's one of those things where you just kind of, you just get snap happy and you just take all of these random pictures. Or you're just trying to get the moment, especially if it's younger kids, they move so fast that you're just trying to, you know, get that in. Snapshot all of these pictures. Here's another one. So we could even do a wall, like a strip of photos, a border, another photo, and what if we did, there we go. I'm like trying to shuffle through my photos here. There we go. A five by four there. And let's see, I think I'm gonna move the balloons up because they can hang in the sky. And then maybe I do like a little accent piece here. This could be cute where you add like maybe a little title or turning six or turning five, whatever it is you wanna do, right? And so again, you can kind of go back and forth from pages to pages. So maybe if you wanted to do one side, you could duplicate. So if I love that look, I can mirror it. And maybe I'll do something similar. We'll take photos across. Right? And then, yes, the, the um, party accessory came in the kits, in the cubicle kits, but then they came back out for a limited release in August of last year. And the Kiwi Club, um, or the shipping team members just found, like I said, only 50 guys. So either pull out your one that you have, or if you didn't, if you missed it, jump over to the shop and order it. And the party accessory set is in the accessory category. Okay. Um, so make sure to grab it. Like I said, very limited supplies left and then it will just basically go back into the vault. How many of you guys are spring cleaning? Just out of curiosity. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Every, all of us are in this, lots of spring cleaning happening. Uh, Samara, um, will you bring the umbrella back? So whenever something um, is, is removed from the shop, basically we put it into what we call a vault, right? And so every product, as we grow and the numbers grow, we will um, release things from the vault. And so yes is the answer <laughs> to your question. When, I don't know, that one just got put into the vault. Uh, I don't know. Usually it's like within two or three years after something gets put into the vault, we'll kind of check the pulse and see what the interest is and all of that stuff. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that because what if we did that? Two three by fours and one four by six. See how that took me a while <laughs> to figure out what maybe could possibly work up there? That is why the photo sets are amazing. Um, because I was able to just say, okay, that didn't quite work. What else is options here? I don't think I would do that just because of course it will go into my photo, but I do love the concept of maybe doing just a cupcake here, but not necessarily on the stand, right? Maybe just a bow zigzagged off the side. So just more options with the accessory and the tiny. You can see just throwing in just a couple more design embellishments. Again, utilizing your paper stash that you have. Um, you can use these over and over again. That might be a little bit too much for me, but I do love how Tiny Celebrate does that. I think at this point we have enough embellishing going on. I personally would just finish this layout probably with adding a few more photos down here at the bottom. Um, maybe some, here they are. Another five by four. And again, if you really want or need, right? Because how you design is based off of your needs. Um, you could even maybe switch it up for two photos here, depending on if you can crop your pictures down, um, things like that. And then I just happen to have this picture. This is way old picture from when the twins, my daughters were babies. I happened to find this the other day. 
but you can use the photo set to crop your pictures too. So if you're not sure if your pictures can be cropped, then again, the photo sets help take the guessing game out of the work. Um, because you don't have to guess, you can just lay it right over your picture and then you can see, okay, yep, I would be fine with that. And then I just make a mark and then use a paper trimmer to cut down my pictures. So I know, look how little they were, so little. And the picture is kind of dark, but you know, 19 years ago, that's kind of what to get. I guess I should say almost 19 years because they will be 19 in August as well. So August is kind of a fun month, it's coming up, but that is a close look at the party accessory set along with hopefully some um, suggestions if you are getting started. Again, um, if you are one that loves to layer, then feel free to mix and match all the sets that you want because mixing and matching is a lot of fun. If you get overwhelmed by that, then make sure to just um, condense your options. And when I say that is maybe just pick one border set from your stash, one accessory set from your stash, start there, start playing with those two sets. And if you feel like maybe you want to throw some layers in, then um, think of a tiny accessory because tinies are, from the size point of view, um, more compatible for helping with layers. Um, so kind of go to that. And then of course, if you really want some fun to character, that's where the fun borders come into play. Um, but for the most part, think in terms of those things, a border, an accessory, a tiny accessory, and the way you can tell the difference between what we categorize as an accessory or a tiny accessory is that it has the T on it and T stands for tiny. Okay. So keep that in mind next time. Um, you are personally reaching or trying to decide what sets to play with and um, maybe sitting inside of those boundaries or <laughs> guidelines, whatever it is, um, might help you kind of push packs past some of those barriers and help you to start really embracing the play process of um, what the designer tube templates can do for you. Um, Nikki, I'm just about to scrapbook my older granddaughter's birthday. This will be a huge help. Great, Nikki. Great, get those wheels turning. Inspiration coming your way. Um, and then of course, yes, what are the sets you are using? I just got on the party accessory. Some of you guys might already have it. Like I mentioned, we do still have 50 in the shop. Um, the Tiny Celebrate, the Clara Lane, and the photo sets. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the day. And I will check back in with you guys. And like always, make sure to spend some time in your life um, by making time to play, create, and connect. Talk to you guys soon. Bye now.